It's been over a year since I read the book upon which the movie is based, so I was able to watch the film with a fresh perspective. We see an ordinary, small, Nebraska town challenged by an unforeseen act of God. At first, it could almost be dismissed, but not so by the end of the movie. Greg Kinnear is perfect as Todd Burpo, an unassuming Wesleyan pastor who would rather be called by his first name than reverend. He's a family man who also runs a carpet business and serves as a volunteer firefighter. Burpo is totally in love with his wife, Sonia. Newcomer Connor Corum was cast as Colton. He totally captures the innocent faith of Burpo's son in the book. Everyday life was shattered when Colton's appendix burst. Todd retreats to the hospital chapel and shouts at God, Don't you take my son! The boy recovers, and life reverts to normal. That is, until Colton starts talking about angels and seeing his body from above on the operating table. He even tells his dad he saw him yell at God. Burpo has a crisis of faith, saying, We ask these kids to believe this stuff, and I don't know if I believe it myself. Over time, he becomes more convinced of Colton's experience, as the boy shares details he has no natural way of knowing. This creates friction in the marriage, because Sonia is more skeptical of her son's revelations. There's also conflict at the church. It's interesting to watch God at work in the movie. As humans, we typically try to change people's minds by trotting out our most convincing evidence first. But the Lord, it seems, may choose to act more like an orchestra conductor, guiding the symphony to its climax. I don't want to give it all away, but I will tell you this. God's dealings with Colton were verified by a comparable miracle in the life of a Lithuanian girl. Columbia Pictures was smart to partner with well-known TV pastor T.D. Jakes as producer. I give Heaven is for Real high marks for both professionalism and spirituality. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.